Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to. Shalom to the uh, elders. And I say Shalom. And this is a uh, set down of uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 1, all the way down to verse 10. Especially what we've seen in, uh, over there in uh, Western Asia. As tensions is up at an all time high, as we've seen that recent strike between uh, the United States and the UK, which they teamed up together, right along with the uh, coalition as well, too. We've definitely seen uh, after months of uh, the uh, Houthi backed rebels, I mean, the uh, Iranian backed uh, Houthi rebels group using uh, drones and airstrikes over there in the Red Sea, targeting uh, ships and vessels over there in the area that importing and exporting uh, items and goods over there in the area. And keep this in mind, because you had the Houthi rebels saying they was going to continue to uh, target the uh, anybody that's affiliated with the United States and the Israelis as well, too. So it's definitely uh, heating up over there in the area. So you had the uh, the United States and uh, Britain, you know, they teamed up together to use airstrikes over there in Yemen in retaliation to that what the uh, Iranian back uh, Houthi rebels been doing for the past couple of months. So hey, it's heating up over there in that area, you know. This is the book of Joel, chapter three, verse one. It says, uh, for behold, in those days and in that time, I will bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Right, Judah and Jerusalem, that represents the 12 tribes of Israel, because we are the actual lineage and the descendants of the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, you know. Joel three, and verse two. And I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is over there in Western Asia. Uh, Yahweh Shabbat, which is the Heavenly Father's uh, judgment over there in the valley of decision. And I will plead with them, right, so the Heavenly Father's pleading with these nations over there in that area, you know, and around the world as well, too. That's why you had uh, Mandadev, Men Men you know, he uh, made that uh, warning that uh, I believe if the uh, UK, if they get involved in a war, that's going to potentially. Uh, spark up a uh, nuclear war over there in that area because we already know, you know, the uh, Russian Ukraine situation has been heating up for the past three or four years now. And now you've been having uh, tensions been heating up over there, you know, the NATO uh, having tensions against, you know, uh, Russia and Belarus as well, too. Because keep this in mind, not too long ago, you had Belarus. Uh, uh, I believe Russia originally deported troops over there not so long ago and the uh, nuclear capability that been deported over there as well too so throughout that whole region and outside of the Russia-Ukraine situation you've been having uh, escalations been heating up not, not just only in the Russia-Ukraine situation but outside of that as well too and then uh, other uh, parts of that uh, area outside of that boundary over there in that area been seeing escalations been heating up so expect to see that uh, continue to increase as well too especially what's been taken over there on the uh, korean peninsula north korea versus uh, south korea those tensions been heating up not too long ago with the uh, firing uh, the military firing shellings from the uh, uh north korea been heading towards the uh Korean Peninsula, not too far from South Korea. So tensions of the North Korea and South Korea, those tensions are up, definitely are at an all-time high. Right along with the amending tensions of uh, North Korea versus South Korea, Japan, and the United States, those tensions are up at an all-time high as well too. And especially what's taking been taking place lately over there in the South China Sea. I believe you have the uh, president of uh, China, because you know I believe the election is coming up over there, if I'm not mistaken, because uh, they was warning China was warning Taiwan ahead of the elections, you know. So that shows you that uh, that because uh, you got you know the United States is unofficial, building up increasingly unofficial uh, allies with you know Taiwan. So if any move that China does towards Taiwan, that's when the United States is going to have to intervene, you know. That's why it's been a lot of military building up, which we know in the previous years. And as of recently, we've been seeing uh, increasing military presence over there, not too far from the uh, South China Sea and over there in the uh, Red Zone areas, not too far from uh, Taiwan, you know. So those tensions are definitely going to continue to heat up over there from China versus Taiwan and China and the United States over Taiwan. So we're going to see that increasing and in what's been taking place over there in the uh, territorial islands.
that's not too far from the South China Sea. We've been having uh, Australia and the, uh, I believe, Australia. And I forgot what other nation it was. Because you had Australia and the Philippines. They recently did a, a military exercise drills. Right along with the United States, they did a military exercise drills along with the Philippines as well, too. As in previously, you know, you've been having the United States sending increasing warnings to uh, China. You know, especially over there, uh, the, those disputed islands. Because you had so many different Asia uh, countries like uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, and other Asian countries trying to have claim of those territorial islands over there, not too far from the South China Sea. So, especially we keep an eye on that as well, too, you know, because the scripture says uh, in Ezekiel 3 and verse 17, I have made thee a watchman. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, which is us, because we are the watchmen. You know, we watch what's going on in the news and stuff like that. Because it leads up to uh, biblical prophecies. It leads up to these uh, biblical signs that we are seeing in our world today, you know. So, you know, I just want to add an additional note to that. But I'm going to continue on with uh, Joel, the third chapter. And this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 1. I'm going to read it again. It says, For behold, in those days and in that time, I will bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Joel 3 and verse 2. And I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is how it is and I will plead with them, therefore my people, and for my heritage, Israel, right? That's what the Heavenly Father is doing. He's pleading with these uh, nations for his people and for his heritage, Israel. We represent Israel. Because we are the children of Israel, Judah, and Jerusalem, the 12 tribes of Israel from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, the actual, the actual bloodline, the descendants of the Israelites, which is us, from our ancestors all the way to us in these modern day times, you know. Because keep in mind, the Israelites, they was a uh, dark skinned, complected people. You know. But you know, that was just a sad note that I want to add, you know. So those Amalekites over there, just like it says in uh, Zechariah 9, verse 6, a small hat should dwell in Ashdod. So those are the people that we follow, you know. That's an uh, added additional note when I uh, want to add to that. But I'll continue on. This is Joe Will 3, verse 2. I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, right, which is over there in Western Asia. That's why he's seen uh, so much escalation heating up over there in Iraq and Syria, uh, the Gaza Script, the West Bank, the Palestinian territory, Jerusalem, uh, Lebanon, the well, parts of Israel, Tensus, uh, over there is up at an all time high, you know, and that's what's taking place. As we see in Joel, the third chapter is playing out as we see, you know. Joel 3 verse 2, I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is how how it should part, like I mentioned numerous of times, even if I sound like a broken record for it. And I will plead with them, right now, the Father's going to plead with these nations. That's what we're seeing over there in Western Asia, like I want to mention again. And I will plead with them, there for my people and for my heritage, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. So you got those uh, 1948ers over there, the small hacks, the Amalekites, because scripture says uh, that the father's going to have a war with Amalek until still to this day. So that shows you those, those are not the people of the book over there in the land of Israel. Those are Amalekites, you know, Khazarians, you know. This is, uh, especially those uh, Ishmaelites, because, you know, uh, Arabs, they are a mixed multitude. They really are offsprings of the uh, Greek babies because they a mixed multitude, you know. In the uh, IDF, which is the Israel Defense Force, they are a mixed multitude with uh, Turkish, you know, and Edomites as well, too. So, basically, those three nations over there battling out. Uh -oh. They really battling over a land that doesn't belong to them. Because keep this in mind, Jerusalem is a people before us a place, you know. Joel 3 verse 2, and I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will plead with them, there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Right, so these nations have defiled the Lord's land and they have parted his land as well too. So basically they fight over the land that doesn't belong to them. Joel 3 and verse 3, and they have cast lot for my people, which is the Israelites. And they have hid a boy for a harlot, so a girl with wine that they might drink. Joel 3 and verse 4, yea, what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense, and if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, I return the recompense.
this upon your own head. <coughs> this is the book of Joel, chapter 3 and verse 5. Because you have taken my silver and my gold, they have carried them into your temple, my goodly present things. And this is the book of Joel, chapter 3 and verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem had ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. Joel 3 and verse 7, it says, Behold, I will raise them up out of the place where you have sold them, and I will return your recompense upon your own head. Joel 3 and verse 8, And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah, and that they shall sell them to the severities which those people may have given to the people far off from the Lord that how I have spoken it. Joel 3 and verse 9, And proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Right, that's what we're seeing that's taking place over in Western Asia. Throughout Yemen, uh, throughout the Red Sea, throughout Iraq, throughout Syria. Because yesterday, I remember I did like a four minute video, if I'm not mistaken, of the United States uh, Embassy over in Iraq. They had got bombed. And then it was another claim from the uh, Islamic people. They had a uh, claim that bus attack, if I'm not mistaken. So there's a lot of activity going on over there and, and throughout Iraq, throughout Syria, and throughout Western Asia. So it's definitely heating up over there in that area, you know. So expect, you know, since the United States and Great Britain teamed up together at that airstrike, expect for uh, the Houthi rebels is going to respond back, you know, because there was another article that said that they wouldn't phase up by those recent airstrikes that they did. So that's going to stir them up even more. Hey, that's gonna uh, stir them up back in that uh, warlike mindset, you know. So, hey, what's taking place over there in Western Asia? Tensions, tensions are just only gonna continue to escalate. And that's when that Joel 3 and verse 9 comes into full effect. And I'm gonna read it again for edification's sake. So, what's taking place over there in the Korean Peninsula? North Korea versus South Korea. North Korea versus South Korea, Japan, the United States. What's taking uh, place over there in the territorial islands, Philippines versus China, China versus the United States over the Philippines, you know, so all this escalation is only going to continue to heat up. <coughs> what's taking place with the, uh, what's going on over there with the Russian-Ukraine situation, you know, just like I mentioned again, um, Medvedev, he made that uh, announcement saying that uh, it's going to be an all-out nuclear war if UK gets involved in it. Keep this in mind with the new prime minister. You know, he uh, recently supported Ukraine and saying that he was going to recently uh, deploy troops over there, over there in Ukraine. So, hey, this, uh, hey, this World War III is heating up, you know. Just like Scripture says, uh, second war was passed, behold, the third war coming quickly. And that's what we are seeing. It's heating up, you know. So, it's only going to continue to testify, you know. So, uh, Joel 3 and verse 9. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty man, let all the men of war draw near, and let them come up. Joel 3 and verse 10, it says, Beat your plowshares and swords, and the plank of the spears, and let the weak say I'm strong. Right, that's what we're saying, let the weak say I'm strong. Hey, the Houthi rebels, you know, they're not backing down, you know. Hey, even if uh, they might feel like they need, even if they feel like they're outnumbered, that still doesn't phase them. Those airstrikes that the United States finally recently responded back, that doesn't phase them at all. Because there was an article saying that, uh, the, I believe one of the Houthi rebels, you know, he was saying that uh, he's going to use all his power and his allies to to try their best to uh, continue striking these, uh, 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 I believe, the United States ally back coalition in Great Britain, they're going to attack them as well, too. And keep this in mind, one of the Iranian proxies, uh, I believe they said that uh, they was going to uh, continue to uh, target uh, military bases over in Iraq and Syria. So, hey, that Joel, the third chapter, is definitely increasing over there in that area, you know, especially over there in Valley Jehoshaphat, which is heating up over there, which is the uh, Valley decision, which is Yahweh Shabbat, you know. So, hey, it's going to continue to heat up over there in uh, Western Asia. This is uh, Joel 3 and verse 10. It says, uh, Beat your plowshares and the swords and the pointy hooks and the spears and let the weak say I'm strong. 
like Iran building up their nuclear capability, the pro-Iranian groups building up their nuclear capability, all the nations that's going against their adversaries. That's why we're seeing uh, military exercise drills up at an all-time high. That's why we're seeing the military spending is up at an all-time high. That's why we're seeing nuclear escalations and tensions are heating wars and commotions are heating up, especially over there in Western Asia and around the world as well too. So all of this is a, a, a better all-time high. We're going to continue to see that increase, you know. So this was just a uh, sit-down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Joe Will, chapter 3, verse 1 through verse 10. And with the uh, latest uh, stories that have been taking place uh, over there in uh, Western Asia as well, too. The recent topics of that, that leads into uh, biblical science, you know. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Joe Will chapter 3 verse 1 through verse 10 and that was the title of the uh, sit down lesson so hopefully this uh, lesson was uh, edifying with that I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to <laughs> until next time I'll say